Hey, what's going on everyone? Back here on the FJ, sunny day. We're about to do an install for Bison Gear, Molly panel systems in the rear cargo of the FJ Cruiser. Something I've been waiting for a long time. As you can see, I got the uh, drop down table right here. Now, there's finally gonna be the day where we put the shelf system right across this top and then change out those Molly panels for some that are a little bit more functional and a little bit more capable. So I hope you enjoy the video. For more content, more detailed photos of this setup, go to my Instagram page, Greatest of All Texas. Yay yay! So if you look in the back right here, you'll see I have some gear that I'll remove um, off of this orange box molly panel and then I have the half subwoofer uh, ma uh, orange box molly panel right here there really wasn't any uh, thing wrong with these molly panels I think the only thing I could say is like you do not have access to get your hand behind the panel which a lot of people want to use that space um, also another thing I would say is that Let's get the brightness up real quick. Another thing I would say is that the hardware, if you look at those bolts in the back, they're not stainless steel and they started rusting. That's just from the inside picking up moisture. Um, just having this out on the beach, different areas. Otherwise, I mean, they're pretty decent, pretty good uh, Molly panels. Won't say nothing bad about them. Um, but I'll show you with the new ones, the differences between the two and also especially the shell system and how that's gonna make uh, the FJ more functional in the cargo area by allowing me to have more storage capability. Right now I have the driver side installed. So those bolts right here on the bottom left and right, you will attach to the factory setting, the factory fitting and then these two top ones will go right on the second um, little loop hole right there and then up here you'll remove your coat hanger and then replace it and then next i'm going to go ahead and uh, install the subwoofer side and then put the shelf in so now we have the passenger side molly panel in now this part right there it's a little bracket that has a 3h vm or a 3M VHB tape that you can stick to your panel with some die tapping screws. But unfortunately those die tapping screws, they're not, I don't have that size of a tool or that type of tool to screw them in. So I'm gonna go with a 3M VHB tape. Should be strong enough for what I'm mounting. And up here on the top is where you connect it to your coat hanger screw. Right now I'm gonna install the shelf. So I'm about to hook up the um, supports right here that will go to the top part right there. So we have it installed, the Bison Gear 4x4 shelf with the Molly panels on passenger and driver. I do say that, I mean, the installation in the beginning, I thought I could do it to one person, but at the end, I asked my neighbor to come help me. I need a second set of hands. But I do like how it fits more sleek. The previous um, one was further out, so you basically wouldn't be able to use this shelf with an orange box. You have to use a bison one. So this is another good benefit, is now you have access to get to attach molly straps to your panel for installation and for storage. And if you shift to this side, previously with the orange box, I did not have room on this area right here all of this area came down with the panel which was good for adding more gear but once i had my drawer system and i have the molly on the bison door right here having that extra right uh, molly panel down here was not necessary what it benefits me now is that i can put a bigger case from here across this way on my uh, more cargo space on the back deck now this is what y'all all have been waiting for. This is the shelf system. Feels very sturdy. You can put it molly on the bottom. And then you can also, um, stuff like jackets and other stuff on the top right here. 
and has a good backing so that it won't fall and hit your passengers on the other side. But um, I'll do some more shots of this once I have everything loaded up. I really like the look of it. I mean, pretty much completes my rear system uh, besides maybe some other electrical things I'll put on the cubby holes of this uh, big country 4x4 uh, Savute drawer system for the FJ Cruiser and this is my DFG um, DFG off-road tilt slide so I'll put my fridge in and show you how that looks and uh, stay tuned <laughs> 